Hey guys, it's Ashra. Today we are going to play FIFA 17 with Valencia career mode and in this episode the, the summer transfer window opens and we have ended the first season. If you haven't watched the previous epi episode, go watch it because it was I think the season ending and we played the final match of the last season. So I did a season roundup and how did the players perform in that season and on that basis I might sell few players and I might sell also sell I might buy few few players and I am looking at the shortlist right now the players who I would like to bring in in this window and would like to upgrade my team because we did lack few things last year and hopefully we don't lack those lack those thing, things this year and those quality players we need them and hopefully they I guess lost our team into trophies and we didn't win anything last season we were knocked out of last 32 in Copa del Rey we weren't playing in European competitions and we finished second in La Liga just behind Barcelona uh, I think we were five points behind Bar Barcelona so and even second position was on the last day of the season uh, we secured la uh, second position the on the last day of the season so it was really a competitive season in terms of uh, full league positions for us because we had to work hard and we had signed those players who would make an instant impact and they did make an instant impact for us and we did finish second in the Champions League spot and we are in the Champions League this season uh, the draw hasn't been drawn yet and so I don't know which team we would be facing in the Champions League but as you can see in the background I am putting few transfer bids for players who I am looking forward to bring in in this se this year's FIFA in this year's se in this season and not this year's FIFA there are uh, there are players from our rival teams but I they are pretty attractive in the sense of their playing style and they the way they grow they have a good potential so I would like to bring it, bring them in as into our squad and I would really love to have them in our side so because these midfielders do get tired pretty soon and we don't have that great midfield we did perform really well our midfield did perform really well last season but the, it is not at par with the Champions League, Champions League teams such as Bayern Munich, Arsenal, maybe Chelsea, maybe Man City or even Barcelona, Real Madrid we somehow beat Barcelona, uh, Real Madrid last season in the league position but this year it would be tougher and I think because we are in the Champions League and we have so many matches to play we need good depth in our squad and we have to perform really well to secure points and maybe uh, just maybe win the La Liga with comfortably maybe scrappy scrappy would be okay but the winning is the main objective this season we have to win La Liga no matter what we have to do it and maybe do better in Champions League and I do want to win Copa del Rey that is a primary objective and the secondary objective is to win La Liga and at least reach the finals of the uh, Champions Cup or maybe semi-finals or quarter finals so really hope we do perform well so I have to bring in players on that basis and I am going for that players only so I won't be signing any young players like I did last year that was pretty stupid of me to sign young players last season when we needed few uh, I guess few uh, reputed players so instead of bringing them in I brought in young players they did perform really well but I they didn't that they didn't have that much of an effect on the results like the rep reputed players would have done it now we have to bring in reputed players and few players have come back from their loan there are not few but there are many players who have come back on from their loan and I am going to sell most of them because most of them are pretty use useless like Negredo he is 30 and almost he is 88 and he is going to drop very soon so it is not worth it to keep him around and we would get him get a replacement of him I am going to keep Rafa Mir uh, he wasn't that instrumental last season he did perform well I am putting on uh, putting Villabla on loan sending Villabla on loan as you can see he he has gone to 
Real Zaragoza who play in the La Liga and he is really good player and I think he would be good once he, once he comes back from his loan. It is a short loan of 6 months. He would be back in the January uh, transfer window. Now we are putting a bid for Costas Manolas and a contract to giving a contract to Kovacic. Hopefully he accepts it. He is going to accept it. Bit of a spoiler. But yes, we are going to... Okay, sorry that was my phone. Uh, let's, let me put it on silent. Okay, and it is done. Now we are hopefully we sign not hopefully I know what I have done in this in this video and but we have to sign few players that are going to be really important and at the start of the window it is going to be troublesome to sign new players because we don't have that much of that big of a budget. So it is going to be a problem. I have to deal with it. I have to sell few players right now and then at the end of the transfer window we would have enough money to bring in new players and uh, it is a, this is the first match of the friendly cup friendly cup tournament and it is the it is against Liverpool so I don't know why my manage my manager character went through the I guess what we can see uh, the dugout but his hand almost went through the dugout thing now I am somehow Okay, I am, am I using the strong squad? No, I am not using strong defense. I am going with a strong squad just because it is Liverpool and this match was pretty, I guess, on one-sided match because we dominated Liverpool for 90 minutes. They didn't have that many chances because they were playing such a weak squad. It was a friendly. I was pretty stupid to use my strong squad, but I want money and I did went with a strong squad. We had the first chance. We couldn't capitalize capitalize on it and couldn't make it one nil. Now we have a ball on the left wing. Nani cuts back, cuts back in, but has been tackled by the defender and he runs away with the ball. We have another chance and this time Gabiadini capitalizes on it and he scores for us. That is one nil for us. That's a good start for Gabiadini. He scored 19 goals last season in the league and he was pretty good. He was pretty terrific for us. He he is the reason why we finished second in the on the table and if I had not signed him I don't know who would have signed him and I think he has been really good for us and we come really close in the second half to score another goal the shot was just wide of the post they were getting in in the second half really coming close to scoring goal scoring a goal in the second half but the shot the accuracy wasn't that good enough now a twist up bit of a mistake from the goalkeeper but we couldn't do anything about it and couldn't score a goal a good block from Ruben Rezo and they score in the 87th minute of the match we dominated them as I told you we deserved the win we deserved the three points but no Sturridge had different thing in his mind and he scored for Liverpool I am looking to bring on bring in Sturridge he is my one of my uh, players who is on my shortlist to bring in this season he is a good player, he is 84 rated, maybe not as good as in real life, but seriously, I have to bring in someone quality striker to as a backup for, uh, for I think, Manuela Gabbiadini and we have received a transfer offer from, from Man City for Pareo and I was like, what should I do? We are, we are going to do two more seasons and Pareo is 28 and he did perform really well in the league and other uh, my chief executive is saying you can ask for 35 million but I did counter it 38.5 but then I was like why should I sell him he, we can use him for next two seasons and that would be the end of the career mode so we would jump onto the next career mode so he would be 30 so I don't really care if he would turn 30 or he if he even drops even a single rating, I would be okay with that because he is really a good player. He can take free kicks, take penalties, he can take a long shot. He is pretty good at in the midfield position. He, he is one of the best midfielders in our team. So why should I sell him? So I completely rejected that offer and moved on now. Giving a contract to Makhina, who is one of my uh, replacement for Abdenor and Mangala. We don't have a backup, backup uh, centre-back. And we do receive a 
uh, I guess a transfer bed transfer offer for Abdeno from Chelsea. It is of 18.5 million. I counter offer it for 22 million, I think, maybe 26. I my chief executive officer was saying of 21. I did offer it to 23.5, but they rejected rejected it and they offered me 20 or 21 million something around that and. I am going to sim the next match against New York. I didn't want it to. I didn't want to play uh, friendlies anymore. I was really bored. I just wanted to do the transfer business, and I really think I almost completed all the transfer in this episode. Most few transfers have been left over, and that will be completed in the next episode. He is doing so many transfer offers for Perhu, but I am going to reject every one of them. Next match against Rio Plate, we got a win. I think I didn't even see what the result was. We get a win against Rio Plate, a really easy one. And I think we are through in the quarter finals of semi finals of the friendly tournament. We and Kovacic accepts his contract. We have signed a new player, and he is our first signing of this season. And I don't know why the, there was a problem of funds. And Chelsea come back with a 18.5 aid and I am going to counter offer it no matter what I need funds and I need funds so I am not going to make comp compromise on any sort of money I want every penny penny funny <laughs> I want every penny and I am going to fight for it and I am making the most out of it now we receive a transfer offer for Enzo Perez I am going to sell him he is 31 or oh, he is only 78 rated so no no good in keeping him he is going to drop so let's sell him and get a replacement of him now we play man city who just offered for parejo made a transfer offer for parejo and i don't know what happened there but i think we got a win but we are up putting a bid for mario barotelli he is he has he is really he is really playing uh, good for ogc nice i think that's the name of the team and in real life and he has been really good for them and i think we should bring him in he is only 26 hit and 81 rated so it would be a good deal for us but i have to put in a bed and i have to think what should i do and i would be selling Luis nani he is 30 and 82 rated he dropped a rating last season now into the finals against Bayern munich and we are going to lose on penalties because my luck is pretty bad and we have lost to Bayern Munich on penalties they had a advantage of home advantage kind of because they were playing on the left side of the of that page now receiver time for offer from Medran from Hoffenheim and going to reject it not not interested in accepting those transfer offers so really going to end up so right here we have won the friendly tournament so thank you for watching and goodbye